Hey everyone, I'm here to do a new moon reading for our total solar eclipse uh, with Sagittarius for December 14th and going into December 15th for some people. So let's use my angel and tarot cards and see what comes up here. New moons are very much a time of change. The energy is very much shifting right now. So whenever we have a solar eclipse, it's kind of our sun and our earth meeting each other at the exact same time. And so it means we're going to feel it that much more. So think about what you are focusing on right now and making sure that it's lined up to your passions, your people, that sort of thing. What is it that you're um, really putting out there right now? It's super important. It's actually a great time for that energy to be amplified, magnified. So um, around this time, three days after, typically with eclipses, four days after as well, um, or if you've been doing that already then it's perfect just really making sure that you're staying in that contagious energy of flow and uh, just trusting it in that process okay uh, I know a lot of people are saying it's all about inspired action with with this Sagittarius energy they're very much about philosophy purpose um, they're a fire sign so again really doing the things that you feel like you're meant to be doing and then having fun while you're doing it super important so nine of earth enjoying life's little luxuries spending quiet time alone successful self-employment so I love this card and again you might not be able to see perfectly I do have a light here maybe I should bring it in a bit more that helps okay so nine of earth is telling us that um we really can have anything that we want at this time. So making sure that you're almost putting that wish list in, in terms of what would I like to magnetize? What would I like my heart to be attracted to? And really make sure that you're identifying with that list so therefore you can have that. So if you don't identify with it, then it makes it really hard to, to bring it in. And it feels like helping other people too. So when you are helping yourself, you're helping others. So it's okay to put in good energy for others right now too because I think a lot of people need it. Some are doing a lot better than others. The Wheel, Archangel Michael, a time of positive change, a situation suddenly moves forward, fortune is on your side, 10. So this is saying that we have a lot of impulses, we have a lot of like instincts, intuitive action more so coming up and it's about you being yourself and identifying with who that person is. So often during new moons we might actually take some time to reflect on what we're looking to to receive as well because what we're putting out is what we're going to get back. So again the um, feeling really clear, becoming a clear channel, great time for getting um, healings. I'm doing 50% off until January 1st. Keep in mind, I am taking time off as well. The Magician, Archangel Raziel, you are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest some life is magical. Love that. So this is saying sometimes we need other people to um, aid us with some things. So um, I am doing a meditation tonight. If you're watching this on Monday the 14th on YouTube, Robin's Healing, Robin Jardine. And um, so that's going to start at 8 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time. Again, that's getting other people to help you shift your vibration. Same with getting... Um, making appointments and stuff like that it's important that we're identifying with that team aspect that other people are going to really help us with different circumstances and situations and each person that we work with might help us just a little bit in a different uh, shape or form so self-love is going to be a really healthy pattern um, during this time to, to help encourage you and inspire you to get going with some of these steps that you're looking to to bring in for yourself then we have release archangel Azrael. The end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on. Yes, and one big thing is when we um, are working on manifesting, doing the law of attraction work, things like that, it's about not putting yourself in a box. We don't limit ourselves at all. It's that or something better. So we really let go of that control aspect when we're shooting for the stars. We're looking for wisdom and knowledge through these experiences as well. So there's going to be a lot of curveballs, and it's about staying in that fire element, stay in the intuitive state. Um, it's how you're occupying your time, and of course you're not stressing, right? 
two of water, a relationship that continues to grow closer. Forgiveness, the positive resolution of a conflict. Okay, this is again talking about um, trusting other people because we need other people to help us. We absolutely do. We can't do it all by ourselves. This is a, the really the new shift that's coming in on the 21st. People are really making a big deal out of this. There's a lot of stuff happening that hasn't happened in years. And I'm talking years, years. So this is about... Um, you know, if you've been burned in the past, if you have a lot of negative energy that's happened to you, that's so important that you're putting that to the wayside and having more faith. And um, it does feel relationship related. So it's really work on different aspects of yourself so that you can move forward. So again, the doing more of that peace work is going to be helpful. Nine of fire. Don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. Yes, this is about people who might have a bit of a scarcity mindset. I don't have enough time. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough love. I don't have enough um, resources, whatever it is. And this is saying that it's about building that platform. So when you think about your root chakra, starting from the bottom up, starting from the ground, start eating more uh, fruits and vegetables, things like that. Very much about educating yourself a little bit where it's like, okay, what, it, you know, do I need some sound healing to get my energy where it needs to be? Um, you know, is it about baking, reminding me of like the memories from, from my parents or my in-laws or whoever it is that, that you feel like you want to, you know, remember like other people's style of how they would do things you're just bringing back some of the old energy back in that makes you happy joyful and gets you in the right mindset okay especially with Christmas coming up seven of fire defend your beliefs and decisions stand your ground choose your battles wisely okay this is talking about some energy is really good on here and some is not so good so it's about um, again, you being okay with you. So if you're not okay with you, this is a, a perfect time to say, okay, I'm going to start manifesting more love for myself, more love from others into my life. And when you do that, that might mean you have to stop criticizing yourself. You might have to stop bragging about yourself, whatever it is. It's about um, shifting according to um, your own goals, your own path, your life path. And this life path is super important for a lot of people right now because that's the, kind of the whole point of the, new, of the new moon is to get on that path. And so if you've been abusing yourself, if you've been overusing technology, things like that, if you your vibration, your nervous system isn't great, um, what can you offer to offer to your nervous system? So this platform with the root chakra is really important if you don't know. Um, how to how to work on those things and absolutely reach out to me take advantage of, of what I'm offering right now and I hope you guys have a beautiful new moon I'll talk to you guys later or tonight in my meditation bye bye